Hey there, so I uh, just wanted to uh, kind of share something that I've come across as part of something I've been doing and uh, get it out there maybe more than it has been um, because I found it to be of some use. Um, it is uh, a model, a mnemonic, uh, for uh, doing church ministry work guided by uh, practical theology. And it's uh, by a guy named uh, Paul Schreier. And if I remember correctly, uh, Paul Schreier uh, is at Azusa Pacific. That's true. Google just told me so. Um, and one of the things and reasons that I like this is because is, is it's uh, very practical, very um, kind of basic, and it... Um, addresses some things that are important. So um, here's the context of it. Uh, when we're trying to make a decision in our uh, faith community, um, what are the means by which we're making this decision? Um, is it financial? Is it um, because of messages people have received in prayer? Um, is it uh, because of uh, social justice uh, perspectives that we hold dear? And there's any number of factors uh, kind of in social forces that are pushing us to make decisions. And um, what Schreier's model does is it helps us uh, kind of formulate maybe a concrete approach to specifically to big issues that our congregations are, are, are grappling with, a kind of ministry that we might want to do in our community, um, uh, outreach, uh, evangelism, uh, etc. So the, the model is uh, DECIDE, the letter is D-E-C-I-D-E. Uh, so that's describe, explore, consider Christian resources, uh, integrate and inform, develop and evaluate. Now, like I said, this is not particularly brown, groundbreaking, um, but I do think it's concrete and practical. Describe the social condition, individual or group practice, activity or behavior that you're addressing. What exactly is it? Get your boundaries right. You know, sometimes problems occur because you haven't ad 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 adequately or accurately uh, named what you're trying to deal with. What is the social condition, individual, or group practice, activity, or behavior that you are addressing? Describe. D. E. Explore. Explore alternative non-theological expert explanations for or responses to the issue. Don't go to the scripture immediately. Uh, what do psychologists have to say about it? What do economists have to say about it? Uh, what do uh, the police force, uh, local uh, justice advocates and activists, go to some non-theological, non-scriptural sources to see what their perspective is on the, the condition, the social condition of the individual, get some facts. Uh, then consider Christian resources. How do biblical studies historical theology, systematic theology, church history, and other Christian resources relate to the issue. I would also say denominational history. How has your denomination responded to such a thing in the past? If you have something like a book of discipline, um, what does that say in there? Uh, so describe, explore, consider Christian resources, uh, integrate and inform, compare and contrast the, and where possible, integrate the Christian resources and the secular expert models. This is really a place where discernment has to be happening. What is going to be guiding your practice should be a mix of rational facts and also prayerful decisions. And hopefully uh, that which is true and useful to the situation at hand will rise to the top. Integrate and inform. And at some point in time, we're using, again, discernment, which is really... Um, uh, a sifting, letting go of the things which we don't need, whether it's expert decisions or a particular um, way of reading a certain verse, and letting God speak to us and that which is important rise to the top. Uh, and then D at the end, develop. Develop one practical, concrete new action as a step towards developing new practices that transform the condition, individual or group. This is really important. Develop one practical, concrete action that will be a step. Okay, We don't need to solve the entire thing, but let's take a step to develop a new practice that could possibly transform the condition that we described at the beginning. And then evaluate, E, 
evaluate the intended and unintended consequences of the new action and practice. Uh, with practical theology, of course, there's this a cycle constantly of uh, assessing, kind of theorizing a action or praxis again, and then reassessment. And so, of course, it ends with evaluation, where we're looking at what happened that we thought would happen, what happened that we didn't foresee, um, and then we, if necessary, go through the process again um, and maybe take another step towards that. So um, I think this is very pragmatic. I think that Christian leaders, uh, ordained or not, can take it into their congregational settings. Uh, thank uh, Mr. Schreier very much for the model um, and maybe use this the next time your faith community is facing a big question or concern and is wondering about the best or uh, a way to approach it. So, the Decide Practical Theology Model for Church Ministry and or Social Justice, Paul Schreier from Azusa Pacific, Decide. D-E-C-I-D-E, -E, Describe, Explore, Consider Christian Resources, Integrate and Inform, Develop and Evaluate. Hopefully it's useful.